Okay, so uh, I'm going to show you guys how to transform this button right here, edit table, and to do it through CSS. So um, there's two options here that you can do. I'm just going to show you the CSS classes option. There are style classes as well, but uh, we're just going to go to CSS because I want to learn CSS, so that's basically why I did it. But on top of that, I will show you that you can also make a beautiful, nice transition looking button. So if you right click on styles here, you can do enable advanced style sheet. And now you write your CSS inside here. But before you do that, um, or at any time, you can, so I'm gonna go to my button underscore zero, and I'm going to go down here to meta properties and do a document object model, name it. I'm just gonna name it whatever the button is named. Um, so button underscore zero, enter that, save that. <sighs> And then I will target it in my style sheet that I enabled. So I'm just going to copy paste some code um, here, kind of give you an idea. Uh, we'll start off with purple here. But so um, basically, we would use a pound sign. Um, we would use a pound sign there as your selector, um, and and that would be an ID selector rather than a class selector, which you guys are probably familiar with, which is the period right before. So that basically is what targets your uh, DOM ID. And then you can write your CSS inside here. So let us test it out. Um, as you can see, I changed it, the transition to one second. So we can push that back to 0.3. And you have that really nice button transition when you hover over it. So. Um, you can also change that to whatever color you want. So yeah, that's basically how you attach um, your selector to the DOM ID option in Ignition. Hope you guys found this useful.